Hi guys, um, this is Sushant Kocher and uh, today we are going to talk about how we can separate the protein, carbohydrates and fats in the milk. And now, uh, so we want to be separating the uh, macros of the milk, the milk components. So uh, we will first talk about how we can separate fat from the milk and then we will talk about how we can separate protein and uh, lactose which is the milk sugar from milk. Now uh, uh, for fat, uh, and there are three ways that I am going to be discussing. I am going to be discussing more of the practical ways that are being used widely nowadays uh, in the society. I am not going to be uh, uh, discussing any way which might be used in the laboratory. I am going to be discussing practical ways which you can actually use at your home. So one way to, nowadays people are using is uh, getting the cream out of raw milk through a machine. So you will pour the milk in the machine and uh, from one side you will get the cream, from one side you will get the uh, remaining milk. But uh, this is actually expensive because the machine costs around 7000 uh, to 10,000 rupees uh, the basic machine and it goes up to 1 lakh or 1 lakh plus rupees. So uh, it and uh, it requires milk in bulk quantity so it requires at least 4 to 5 liters or 10 or 15 liters milk at a time to give you the cream uh, properly otherwise uh, if you pour in 1 or 2 liters of milk then the cream would stick to the uh, walls of the machine kind of thing. So it is not practically feasible for 1, 2 or 3 or 4 liters uh, which is usual quantity at used at home on a daily basis. So uh, this is not practically feasible for a home uh, purpose. Now, the next one is Bilona. So, uh, we call it Bilona in Marwadi in India, uh, in Rajasthan. Uh, so this is a process where you will have a utensil, uh, a mud utensil uh, and you will put in curd, uh, curd or yogurt and you will mix water with it and then you will have a, a wooden pipe or something like that and then you would um, rotate it and uh, after uh, by rotating it you will be uh, rotating the curd inside the utensil and uh, as you keep on doing it uh, within about half an hour you will get the butter on top of the curd and uh, at the bottom will be uh, buttermilk which is known as charge in Hindi. So uh, by this process you will get all the fat on the top as butter. Now the third uh, so this is Bilona, uh, the, is a process which was used by um, uh, our ancestors, uh, the ladies. But nowadays people have become lazy and they do not want to do so much of physical effort. Um, so they, they are not doing Bilona nowadays. Um, but but uh, now there are uh, electric machines we, which will do the rotating for you. You will just have to... Uh, fix in the utensil uh, and put in the curd in water and they'll do the uh, rotating for you for 15-20 minutes you switch the button on so nowadays people are using those machines uh, uh, and the third one is malai uh, so which is the uh, cream uh, layer that comes on top of the milk after it, you heat it and you put it to cool down so the fat that uh, comes to the top of the milk the layer of fat uh, so, um, in the first thing, uh, the cream that you get from machine, you will get almost all the fat, uh, but there might be some leftover uh, with, uh, fat which stays in the milk. In the bilona, you will get uh, all the fat that you can get uh, at home as a, as a human. So basically, this is the best way to get all the fat. And the third one is uh, malai. So you would not um, be able to get all the fat uh, in Malay in one go. So um, if you take one layer of fat after the milk uh, cools down uh, overnight, uh, if you take one layer of fat, there will be still significant amount of fat in the milk. So I will discuss about how you can take all the fat out uh, using uh, this process in the next video in detail. So basically the practical possible ways of uh, getting all the fat out uh, from the milk is second and third Bilona and Malai for home purposes. Now once you get all the fat out from the milk, uh, now you want to get the protein out. So the milk has two types of protein, casein protein and whey protein. 
these are the proteins that are sold in the market as casein protein powder and whey protein powder. So, so I'll discuss about how to get all the fat through this Malai method in the next video. So, to get the protein out, you take you take decently hot milk. You add lemon to it, lemon juice, and you stir it, and it will. It will separate into liquid and solid. Uh, solid will be of white color and liquid, uh, the rest will be liquid. The white color solid is known as china or paneer in India. Uh, instead of lemon, you can also use curd. You can put in curd, stir with the milk. Uh, for one liter um, milk, you can use one bowl of curd and you put in the curd in the milk, you stir it. You keep it there for 15 20 minutes and then you. Uh, heat it up uh, and then you will uh, have the separation of liquid and uh, the white solid part of the milk. So you can ask your mom, uh, she perhaps uh, has been doing this for quite a long time. So the white part, the china or the paneer uh, that you get uh, is the casein protein of the milk. Milk has around 33 grams of protein out of which around 25 grams of uh, protein is casein protein. So the white part will be the casein protein and the leftover liquid would have lactose plus whey protein. So milk has around 8 grams of whey protein in it. So 8 plus 25, 33 grams of total protein in milk. Now you have lactose and liquid. Uh, uh, liquid. So this this uh, leftover water is usually uh, called as whey, liquid whey or whey. Uh, although it has whey protein plus lactose in it, but it is usually uh, termed as whey or liquid whey. So this whey, um, so you can separate this whey protein out of this liquid and uh, lactose by uh, adding calcium carbonate and boiling it uh, and stirring it uh, for um, three minutes and then filtering it. Uh, but this process is, us is usually not done at uh, home. So people, what pe your mom would end up doing or what people end up doing is they uh, do it till this process where they have their uh, white solid part of the milk and the liquid part of the milk. They do not go uh, for further separation. So, uh, so, so uh, this liquid which has whey protein and lactose can be used in various forms. You can either drink it, uh, you can put in some salt and drink it or you can drink it plain. Now this uh, milk, uh, this uh, liquid is safe for lactose intolerant because when you add curd to the milk and then you get separation of the casein protein and the liquid whey, the liquid whey has bacteria in it that can ferment lactose so it uh, does not bother lactose intolerant people. Sour milk is uh, okay for uh, lactose intolerant people uh, or, or you can use this uh, liquid whey uh, to create dough out of the wheat flour, people use it because they do not want to waste this protein and lactose and the calories from it. Or you can use this liquid to feed cows or other animals. So this is how you can separate protein carbohydrates and fats out of. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And this is some sort of unique information you would not easily find it on the internet. In this way so you might want to share it with others as well and help them so uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye